sure that he sold the illusion of access to his father? You talk about the Biden brand. What does that mean? Is the president compromised? So Hunter Biden's former best friend, tight-lipped with the media after talking to Congress for hours today, Devin Archer telling lawmakers that the first son put then-Vice President Joe Biden on speakerphone during business meetings over 20 times. Archer also saying that Burisma added Hunter to its board because of the Biden brand. Republicans calling the questioning very productive. The term he used is that people would probably not be inclined to to uh, legally lean on Burisma because of the Biden brand, which again, he's reiterated was, was Joe Biden. Do you think the President of the United States is compromised based on Archer's testimony? I think so. I think so. Devin Archer himself said that was an implication of of who the big guy is. I mean, and, and, and Archer talked about the big guy and, and how Hunter Biden always said, we need to talk to my guy. We need to see when my guy is going to be here and those types of things. But former impeachment manager, now congressman, says Joe's phone calls with his son were no big deal. And he seriously said they were only talking about the weather. It was clear that it was as part of the daily conversations that Hunter Biden had with his father. President Biden didn't even know who the people he was at dinner. He was just asked to say hello. Uh, and he would, you know, he described what the weather was, how, uh, how, what's going on on your end. It's kind of a preposterous premise to think that a father should not say hello to people that the son are at dinner with, the son is at dinner with, and that is literally all the evidence is. And then moments ago, the White House putting out a statement calling House Republicans' investigation an evidence-free wild goose chase. And Democrats are throwing cold water on the entire investigation. This investigation started during the Trump administration, and they've come forward with not one shred of evidence um, tying President Biden to any of this. I don't have any concerns. I think this is a, a witch hunt. Um, if you know, Hunter Biden has broken the law, he should be held accountable for it. You know, I think that a lot of my colleagues need to go back to school and maybe go into uh, the work of being detectives because seemingly that's what they want to do right now is play detective and weaponize the government. Well, this was all something else. And uh, Jesse, before I came down, I did some research and I looked on all the uh, other networks websites and not a mention. No, on their home pages. Nothing. So if you're watching here and you're watching the five and you're watching Fox News, you're going to be in the know. The rest of the country, maybe not so much. So the Democrats first said this was Russia disinformation. And now they're saying, yeah, Joe Biden talked to his son's business partners, but it was about the weather. Mm -hmm. So we've made a lot of progress over the last two and a half years. <laughs> Let me show you how this works. A country hires someone because their father's vice president. And then the guy hangs out with the guys who hired him, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to get the vice president on the phone. Vice president talks to all the guys that hired him, and that's why they hired him, because he can get the vice president on the phone. You're selling access. You're selling influence. That's the Biden family business, and it's been that way for four decades. Now, if you're saying that Hunter and his father talk on the phone every single day, well, what happens the day after the phone call he's on with the business partners? So you put me on with a bunch of Romanians yesterday while you were in Bucharest. Um, why are you in Romania and who were those guys? <laughs> right. Are we still pretending Biden has right. no idea what's going on here? They're selling the Biden brand. That's what they're getting paid for. And the Biden brand, according to Hunter, was gold. Now, forget about the phone call for a second. OK, the 20 phone calls. How about all of the dinners at Cafe Milano? You're saying he goes to dinners with the Chinese, the Kazakhstanese, the Greeks, the Romanians, the Greeks. And, and it's a dinner where you sit down and you have an, an appetizer, an entree, dessert, and they're talking about weather the whole time. <laughs> I mean, you could do weather for about five minutes, but the whole dinner, it can't be all about weather. Also, we find from Devin Archer that, yes, Hunter was hired to get Joe to fire the prosecutor. We also found out that Joe sits down with a billionaire from Russia, and then a month later, Hunter gets a wire from three and a half million dollars from the Russian billionaire. Hmm. And then Hunter flies with Joe on Air Force Two to China. Then a week later, Hunter gets millions of dollars from the Chinese. 
And then Joe gets on the phone with the Chinese business partners on speaker. And then Joe writes a letter of recommendation to Brown University for the guy's daughter. But Joe has no idea what's going on. Everywhere Joe Biden goes, Hunter gets paid. Joe goes to China, Hunter gets paid. He goes to Romania, he gets paid. Kazakhstan gets paid. Ukraine gets paid. We're not adding this thing up. We're still pretending Joe's not connected to anything. Why does Joe Biden have six different alias email accounts? Why does the family have 20 shell companies? Why is this now a $50 million racket? Now you have two eyewitness people testifying that Joe is aware of what's going on. You have IRS whistleblowers saying the thing was corrupt and there was a cover-up. You have FBI whistleblowers saying the same thing. You have suspicious activity reports. You have offshore bank accounts. But the Democrats are like, you know what? The Republicans still haven't really made a connection between <laughs> Joe and, and his son's business. Okay, okay, if you also forget about all the photographs, the voicemails, the videos, and the text messages, yeah. then yes, we have not made that connection. Are they trying to insult our intelligence? No, oh, how dare they? <laughs> if they only talked about the weather, Bill Clinton and Monica Lewinsky were only playing Yahtzee. All right? <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein was just running an orphanage on that island. It is, no, it, it, it is funny because to listen to that guy, Goldman, that idiot, say that it's preposterous. No one in their entire existence, anybody who's had a career, has ever had an employee or anybody call their dad in a meeting. No. It's never happened. It doesn't even, I don't even remember happening in high school or college. It's just the weirdest thing. But this is a guy, that's what he did for a living. He made it rain using his dad's influence. I did learn one thing, that you shouldn't have friends when you go into politics, right? Because they're going to turn on yep. you. They're going to, they, they, this is like his close pal is spilling the beans. This is why I refuse Jesse's friendship. Because <laughs> um, I know sooner or later he's going to turn on me. Remember when the media and the Democrats always focus on Trump, they compare him to the mafia. Remember, he talks like a mafia Don, blah, blah, blah. And then you always find out that whatever they accuse somebody of doing, it's what they're actually doing. And, of course, nobody ever talks, you know, concretely about what they're going to do in the mob. They use, you know, I don't know, metaphors and little, you know, they just don't say they're going to kill you, Katie. Although I thought they're about like, it. This is a pizza shop. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But this is part of the thing that we predicted, that there would be investigative ping pong. The, the Dems were warned that everything you do to Trump will be done to you. Because if you have the power and you abuse it, then it, there's going to be payback. And it's like, it's like for, as an American citizen, it's like you hired a mechanic, an electrician and a plumber to fix your house. And instead, they're like arm wrestling in the basement. <laughs> That's what this has become, because you're just going to have two, two parties constantly doing this until the end of time. Can the Democrats keep up this, in, the, like in their imagination, can they say that either Biden was truthful when he said he never asked his son about his business dealings, or that, two, that they were only talking about the weather in all of the cases that Jesse was talking about? I think the weather excuse and climate change is a real problem yeah, so that nice. can get you to 10 minutes <laughs> that's gonna go away that was what dan goldman said about this i'm sure that there was more than the weather discussed but yeah we can keep it up as long as it continues that nobody has a piece of paper or a bank transfer or something legit linking president biden the person we care about Everyone, I don't know a single Democrat who defends Hunter Biden or his character or anything well, can about I, it. Can I stop you there? Because I, I rarely interrupt. I know that. No, that's, I, that's it. But I, I was just thinking I'm about this. Like, so when when you get a commission uh, position at the White House and you go in to take your you sign the ethical papers, right? One of the things that you are asked to do is to make sure that. One, you avoid a conflict of interest, yeah. but also that you avoid the appearance of a conflict of interest. And that's on the vice president, Joe Biden, at the time. No wonder President Obama was like, let me go with Hillary instead of this guy in 2016. Well, I, I think that it was a larger issue, obviously, surrounding what Bo Biden's death and that Joe Biden was not in the right frame of mind mm -hmm. to then go mount a presidential campaign. But I agree with you. And this was a big issue in the 2020 primary. Remember, Elizabeth Warren mm -hmm. really capitalized on this and said, in my White House, we will have restrictions that make it impossible for what happened with the relationship between Joe Biden and Hunter Biden with him serving on boards of foreign entities. So would she be it, critical now? I think that I, I'm sure the same criticism would be lobbed, but it wouldn't get you to Joe Biden is a mob boss, and that's what Republicans want. I mean, Tom Emmer, who's the number uh, 
three Republican, it's already been on TV, says there's no piece of paper connecting them. Jim Jordan, who never met a microphone he didn't love, only said it was very productive. Why do you think that is? If you want to say that Dan Goldman was, you know, out ahead of his skis, saying it was only the weather, et cetera, then explain to me when they had hyped up this $5 million payment and Dan Goldman says on air that Devin Archer had no idea about it. He was on the board of the company. He would absolutely know about something like that. And that he may have been on the phone, but they didn't discuss his business dealings insofar as him being involved in them. Like, that is just but you're not going to. <laughs> but look at yeah, it. That means no, you I, have to, I have to read this here because we just got this in from Devin Archer's counsel. So they put out a statement and it says this. We are aware that all sides are claiming victory following Mr. Archer's voluntary interview today. But all Devin Archer did was exactly what we said he would do. Show up and answer the questions put to him honestly and completely. Mr. Archer shared the truth with the committee and we will leave it to... We will leave to them and others to decide what to do with it. Katie, I'll give you the last word. Well, we're going to see these transcripts from this so people can read through them and come up with their own opinion about who won and who lost, what the victories were. But what we know based on today, you know, Dan Goldman is usually a pretty forceful attorney. And if you're watching, you at least think that he's making a compelling argument. Blaming the weather <laughs> is not a compelling argument. He was also very nervous. He was very sweaty. And for years, we've asked this question, OK, what was Hunter Biden's business? What was he doing when he went to China or serving on the border of Burisma, getting paid $80,000 a month? What was the actual Biden business? Because they said it was legitimate, right? It wasn't a FARA violation. But we learned today that the Biden family business was helping Burisma with their brand. And that included Vice President Joe Biden when the prosecutor was investigating them for corruption. When Burisma wanted to come into the United States and do business here with their initial public offering, they needed and were pressuring Hunter, pressuring Hunter Biden with his father to get rid of the prosecutor. That happened. We also have the dinners. It's not just the phone calls that they had. There's all these photos of all these people together. And so moving forward on the heels of Hunter Biden's plea deal falling apart as a result of this blanket immunity that they tried to get in there on the FARA charges, these fair charges are connected to Hunter Biden, but based on the brand that was connected to Joe Biden with Burisma. How could they not be? Right. And if you want right. to talk about the money and all of that, there's a reason why the, F F the FBI document, the 1023, says that they were going to run through it. All these bank accounts it would take 10 years to find that. You have the oversight committee saying the same thing. They did this in an untraceable fashion, including working with Russian oligarchs to allegedly, you know, launder money. So... There's more to this, and a lot of the testimony from Archer today also connected to other people that the committee can now interview. Can I just say really yeah. quickly, and for maybe the 80th time, Victor Shokin was not fired to protect Hunter Biden. It had the uh, opposite uh, effect. There are so many articles. There's Senator Ron so Johnson. So many articles. On, well, yes, that's how things get documented. <laughs> so like many in the articles, press. So many fake Joe news Biden. articles, Jessica. Really? I, we There's a lot of articles here. about uh, Russia IMF, collusion, too. The IMF. The Who EU. owns the IMF? We do. Can I? Yeah. What? All right, we do. It's Big astounding. Big show is on its way. We already got started, but influencers can't get enough of Joe Biden at the beach as the commander-in-chief takes another vacation. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.